Washington to Alaska. 1,100 miles as the crow flies, over 40,000 miles of coastline. Sailing with a crew of strangers from around the world has its challenges. On the other hand, the excitement of watching someone that catches their first salmon and experiences the wonders of Alaska is very gratifying. We are searching out the old native culture and the natural history of the wildlife along this rugged northern Pacific coastline. Turning the boat over to somewhat inexperienced strangers and giving them the opportunity to pull together and sail the boat through some demanding conditions as a team. Oh, there right there. Back up. Back up. Back up. Do you hear me? It's rewarding when all goes Back well, up. but things can change around very quickly. Oh. I don't know how true it is, but there are bad things that happen. Here on the carvings is this circle. And this circle represents the air. Glacier today. These are the ones that we're going to look really nice. My interest as a naturalist and anthropologist, I've been fascinated with seeking out the seldom seen 4,000 year old petroglyphs and old village sites scattered along the coastal wilderness. My next crew I find in Petersburg. Young and inexperienced, they jump at the opportunity to quit their day job. So, Ruth, see that glacier up there? That comes out right in that creek. Ruth just got crazy, stripped down naked, and she jumped in and took a bath. Here's the proof! And survived. Tell about it. I know, I thought about it afterwards. I'm like, maybe I should have told somebody I was going to do this. A perfect day for a beach picnic. They broke out the diving gear. I figured they would last all of two minutes in this frigid water. But to my surprise, they were still having a heck of a good time 40 minutes later. Now we start our last leg of the 30 mile Tracyon Fjord. The most beautiful place. I'm going really slow so I don't... 